Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. It's Friday, which means it is my day off. Oh, let me adjust the camera. You know, we have this casual, chill, fun setting. We have this recently used towel for bathing. And other props are also associated about the room, such as a recently left from bed. I uh, was up till 3 a.m., uh, a, little, a little later than that, recording in Heart of the Swarm because the servers go down today at noon. <gasps> the dedication within me. Um, and then I had to make sure that I could wake up to be able to play Magic the Gathering Gate Crash drafts all, game, all day long. Yeah. And I have my friend Case on the phone. Hello, Case. Hey, Sean. Thanks for having me on the stream. Well, thank you for being here. Case is my insurance against myself. Case is here to make sure I'm not too terrible when I draft, and this is actually what I do when um, when I'm not on stream. I, I <laughs> anytime I'm drafting, I'm like, hey, Case, you want to watch? Case, for any of you who don't know, is the one of the members of uh, Team Lobber Crew. We went to the Grand Prix San Jose with Tristan. He's the other little magic buddy in our crew. Um, I'm going to be playing four three two twos for now because nothing makes sense in them. <laughs> All right, it's on. true. You get you get a whole lot of different stuff in four three two two that you just don't see in eight fours. Like you'll see a pack with nine playable cards, and you'll think, "How can this happen?" And then you'll see it again, and it'll still have eight playable cards. All right, I have my giant card here. All right, so right away. So generally, the way this works is I just point to things, and I'm like, "All right, I see three reasonable first picks." Uh, what does Orzov Charm do again? Probably the charm. I see nothing else. And then before I click, I'm like, sounds good, Case. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Orzov Charm is fine. It's just removal. Uh, unlimited removal is usually like one of the two most important things you can get. See, isn't the only other two cards that I saw were blue. So, Whispering Madness. Uh, this pack is pretty weak. This is a pretty terrible pack. I only see Cloudfin, Raptor. What does Whispering Madness do again? Greatest number of it's cards. The, it's a reprint of a card called Tolarian Winds. It's everyone discards their hand and draws cards, but not exactly what you're looking for in Limited. By the way, I should probably note, Case, I do a lot of like talking to myself. So when I'm like, oh, and what does this do again? I'm kind of like saying it so that way I have, I'm like buying time to be able to read it out loud. I'm not. <laughs> So if you hear me asking a lot of dumb questions, it's just, it's all for showcase. It's not, I'm not actually dumb. It's like, what does it do? And I'm like hovering over it. I can see the card text and I'm like, uh, by the way, Case is actually sharing my desktop. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to like click around? Yeah. Yeah. There's Case's mouse. I don't know if that's showing up on stream. It should be. Oh man. I hope so. Um, I kind of like Thrall Parasite. Over the Cloud Raptor. The oh, I didn't even. Card. I didn't even see. I didn't even see the Thrall Parasite. But, I'm an idiot. I was actually just enjoying this conversation. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, another Cloud Fin Raptor. Um, I mean, this time you can take the Raptor. The so like a lot of pros. Like one of the the best limited players, maybe the best limited player in the world, Ben Stark, was just like, yeah, if something's open. Like you can just abandon four or five picks in this format. Well, that's... Okay, so almost always I play 8-4s, and then, uh, Case, it was you who talked about how playing in 4 3 two twos is a great way to build a collection. Mm-hmm. Because of the craziness. So I was like, all right, let's do that. And then things just, like, don't make a lot of sense anymore when I play. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's... 4 3 two twos are a lot weirder. You get a giant mix of players from, like, those that are pretty good, and then those that are like, hmm. dude... This thing lets me destroy a land and find a land? <laughs> Must get five. Uh, <laughs> um, so this pack sucks, but yeah, I, I feel painful taking a dutiful thrall. Uh, but I will. Yeah. I feel like it's dutiful thrall or smog elemental. Yeah, I was going to say smog elemental is fine too. It kind of depends. Like, If you want to be Orzov, the thrall is better. I mean, Smog Elemental lets you kind of be a little bit more open. Uh, of course, then you get past like this pack of, you know, five good cards and three playables. <laughs> um, I want to take the Primordial for no other reason than it's a Primordial and the art is awesome. <laughs> I, I would, actually, 
he's great. <laughs> he's really cool, and he's he's two creatures. So I mean, like, well, I mean, this is this is my serious bias towards black cards. Just the art, I just love so much. Look at this. Look at this <laughs> balustrade spy. Look at this. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna move this. Yeah, let, you know, let's. I'm keeping the size up. All right, I do have that marked. Good. Yeah, black has some some of the best artwork, especially because it's it's kind of the more uh, the more common zombies, vampires, you know, ghouls kind of thing that they get to depict in a lot of fantasy. But they just get to go wild with it. Whereas like white is all like. You just get people and angels. It's not <laughs> people. Not yeah, there's right. just the guys. Like, hey, <laughs> just it's Frank. Um, <laughs> another crabby pack. These packs have been so, really bad. These packs have been terrible. Man, this is like this is like live on streams. It's like in the show, and like the the random number generator is my enemy right now. I mean, I guess Nav Squad Squad Commander. Uh, neither of these is strong enough yeah. to encourage me to go blue. Whoops. You could you could take the Sage's Road Denizen and go Demir and splash the Orzhov Charm, but no, I, I'm, I'm. Well, or, Demir is blue black. Yeah, so. that's okay. I already had it marked. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be operating real slow today. <laughs> that's uh, right. You were up until like what three in the morning? You yeah, said like three thirty, man. Uh, Dude, just it was, recording. Thoughts. Oh god, I was like just yelling in my room like so loud. <laughs> Um, Your roommates are like, God, when is he going to go to sleep? Dude, and then I get up and I play my music really loud. I'm like the worst roommate ever. <laughs> um, let's see. None of these are particularly exciting. These packs have been terrible, except there's the Shamble Shark. I guess I'm just going to go Shadow Slice and just hate myself. <laughs> um, Shadow Slice is actually a really interesting card. Well, given yeah. that I have a Shadow Slice, that is a little more encouraging to snatch up. And I'm not... Yeah, I'm just going to take it. I'm just taking it. You know, Case. <coughs> I Bio do. Biovisionary Wield. Yeah, Biovisionary is just a 2-3-for-3. Three, three. I mean, it, but it, all the evolved it's not dudes. really a... I've been, a pa I've been passing, like, nothing but Cloudfin Raptors. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, you passed a Shamble Shark, too. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Let's There's see. only... Well, I guess Whispering Madness is, like, marginally playable. Yeah, but the... I just don't want a ton of defenders, but I'm just going to do it because everything else is terrible. Oh, yeah, Midnight Recovery. Let's do this. Right so, here. I was playing in a, a draft. What? Uh, probably about a week and a half ago. Dude, can I just interrupt you and note that Righteous Charge is just hanging strong? That's weird because you haven't seen, like, any white. Right? But... <laughs> And then like two well, I guess back in apparition isn't really a white card, but <clears throat> but yeah, so I was playing against uh, some guy in a draft, and I I get stuck on two land, so I draw a discard, draw a discard, and in the meantime, this guy plays five land and a bunch of one power guys, and then drops whispering whispering madness and is like, discard your hand, I draw seven, as the last card in his hand. <laughs> And I'm like, that, that's probably the best that card's ever going to be, is <laughs> draw seven. <clears throat> what is this uh, How much this thing hiding? Because there's a card behind the... Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's a naturalize. Oh my god, I would have I would have never even considered the naturalize. Well, it's not a consideration, but... <laughs> no, I've never considered it. its existence. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to move it, and it's like a stab wound. I'm like, oh, thank god you're here, Case. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dust Metal Suit is a good one. It's yeah. worth splashing for too. Yeah, and it's it's worth some tickets. Ooh. Yeah, it's worth like three or four. Dusk Mantle Seer. Ooh, two point two five. Ah. Oh. Oh. Mm, it's low. it's right. probably worth more like three. This pack's pretty pretty. Wow, this pack's actually quite good. Hopefully, this will come back, and I can have a Shadow Slice deck. <laughs> The Shadow Slice could come back pretty easily. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a good pack. This pack, yes. oh, damn. Dude, the true thought, it's even foil. And I'm a sucker for foil, even in a digital setting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we Well, in the digital wave. setting, the foil moves. It, like, goes in a wave all the time. Oh, man, it's so pretty. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, so my choices are this and Devour Flesh. What does my deck actually do right now? Uh, you're kind of a control deck right now, but it's weird because you also have the Shadow Slice and, like, multiple one-drops. <laughs> so. Um, I mean, the white just seems so good. Or, I mean, White's Orzhov Guildgate good. will probably come back. Yeah, the white's a little bit better in Demir rather than Orzhov because you get to mill them so you can grow it without having them play creatures and killing them. Yeah, I have eight creatures right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. White white is very good. I wouldn't take Devour Flesh over the white. I would take the white or the Guardian. Those are like the two cards I'd consider. I'm going to go Guardian. Guardian. I'll go to Balustrade Spy. That's solid. Smite. I'm also a Smite, which is looking pretty good here because you have a yeah. lot of like early yeah. game blockers. Yeah, I'm going to take... Take and it's just because I'm gonna get another balustrade spy. Um, oh yeah, I mean clearly. <laughs> I like how we have like a dusk metal seer and then like three five drops and a, <laughs> a seven casting cost. Dude, my <laughs> yeah, I I thought long and hard to make sure that I had a solid deck. Um, I mean for for you, there's like. Yeah, there's like four or five good cards in here. Got the Slate Street Ruffian, man. All the discarding. <laughs> I I guess I'm really excited about Ruffians now. <laughs> I wonder if Glaring Spotlight is like ever worth the consideration there. Is that the discard? Oh. Alright, that's perfect. No, it's the uh, Hexproof and Unblockable when you sacrifice it. But it do I don't think it really does anything. Dude, these packs have been terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, you might be getting cut on Demir and Orzov Ooh. from, like, the left and the right. But you haven't seen anything good. good in any other colors except for that one crazy pack that had, like, five Boros cards. So you I know. have one Extort, dude. I mean, this... Eh. Well, there's yeah, there's nothing else in the pack. And Tiger is garbage. Like, you'll, you'll play him if you have to. It's like a 23rd card, but... Dude, come on. I actually <laughs> like the Zerichi Tiger, and that, that might be because I'm not good. <laughs> it's actually a fine card, but it's the format is very, very fast. So playing a 2-3 that you don't want to attack with on turn 4 is really just not the best. See, Do you see why I have Case on always? Because he just says things so clearly. Like most pe most people who uh, have opinions about magic will say things like that thing sucks, and I'll be like, why does it suck? And they'll be like, wait, what is that doing there? What is? It? Oh um, my god! It. I have no idea. <laughs> Miming slime isn't that high of a pick. I think people initially overvalued it because they're like, oh my god, it's like a three three for three, but you have to have a three power guy in play to play it. So it's more like a three three for five or six. Oh damn! Ooh. Uh, uh, probably the Assault Griffin. Yeah, uh, you do have stuff. these two Shadow Slices. The Angelic yeah. Edict is also removal. But I want my Shadow Slices in my deck. Not because... What the... Uh, wow. wow. I can't believe that that, that pig is still there. <laughs> well, I guess he's a boar, not a pig. But... Potato, potato. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gruul wow. is super open and you just couldn't tell because well, well, it's actually. I'm, really I'm going to move into it. <laughs> <laughs> move into Gruul midway I, through or near the end of pack two. Dude, Tristan was saying like he was in a train wreck of a draft, is what he said. And I was like, how bad was it? He's like, well, I switched guilds from red, green to blue, white, black midway through pack two. And I'm like, oh, that, okay, that's, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> And he's like, I have 15 awesome cards and 8 horrible ones. Maybe, maybe Tristan will, will join up in this. Let, let me see if Tristan... That'd be pretty cool. I think he, he's probably at work, isn't he? Yeah, he's got like a job and stuff. Alright. Oh, he's... He might actually not be at work yet. He's going to Tahoe for the weekend. I forgot. Oh, there's Totally Lost. Ooh. <laughs> this pack is... Oh, there's, this pack is fine. Uh, let's see... Fire Paladin. Ooh. Oh, Grizzly Spectacle, where I look last. Yeah, Grizzly Spectacle. Bam. Oh, you always gotta look at the rare and uncommons first. 
Sometimes you don't even need to look at anything else. Ooh. That's I actually, like I have no idea how good Call the Nightwing is, but I think Kingpin's pet is excellent. Um, Call the Nightwing can be like really, really good, just because you keep on making a, a bigger air army. But I would almost always take Kingpin's pet over it, just because I prefer black white. <laughs> yeah, call call is fine, but you have to have like some really easy ways of punching through. Um, the the Demir oh, kind of unblockables deck is actually a deck. I just like I've never been able to really get it. <laughs> but because you need like every every Demir card. No, you, um. you just need like. Four of the two two unblockable or can only be blocked by rogues rogue, and you need like a whole bunch of the cipher cards and some of the other cipher cards like Ooh. are really high picks for. Ooh, uh, this cope anyways. There's a knight of obligation too, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, guild mage is probably better. Is, yeah, I guess. I mean, skyjack's great anyways. Yeah, and you, you kind of need some lower stuff, too. You don't want to jam up the top of your curve. Okay, let's see. That's, like, the only card in the pack. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe... I guess there's a guild gate and, the dust and the snapshot, which is playable, but... Aristocrasis will way better. Um, wow. Huh. There's a lot of playable cards in here. Wow. Um, I think... Let's see, what do I have up here? Probably not the... Probably just the Smite. It's either the Smite or the Swing. Yeah. I I have had... When I was um, playing Orzov, I have had issues where I've had, like, multiple Smites in hand and just couldn't block, like, a 2-2 two -two yeah. fire. But yeah, actually... You do I'll, have a bunch of other removal, too. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna get a bunch more removal. Oh, yes. Wow. That's, well, like... The card you've been looking for all draft. Well, I did it. <laughs> I did it, Case. Alright. Gilgate for That's you. Nice pickup. Deflam. Well. It's making this this Dusk Mantle Seer a little more splashable, yeah, yeah. although. Oh, I'm I, I'm not not playing the Dust Mantle Seer and the Primordial, okay? Look, I don't okay. care. Oh, look, we're we're beginning with that assumption and then we're gonna work from there and figure out the best way to make the deck not heinous. <laughs> Dude, do you think Triple Shadow Slice is ever correct? Because I'm gonna say it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can run three. I mean... I'd actually probably take the Beckon Apparition here. You don't need another one four blocker. Yeah, I wasn't gonna choose this. This is just so bad and I didn't know what this card does. Oh, cool. That card's actually pretty good in some decks. Like, in the Gruel where you're... You know, you're pitching a lot of stuff to Blood Rush, but... All right. Time oh yes. Kill. Oh my god. For anyone who doesn't play Magic: The Gathering in chat, I'm like super sorry. It will never be able to be explained briefly. All right. Let's do it. Um. All right. So let's start with the Dust Mantle Seer. Putting in these bad boys. Yeah. Where's the Profane? Alright, the Primordial. I'm gonna skip over the Shadow Slices. Let's put the Ruffians in for now and see what it looks like. I'm gonna leave out the Blockade. Put in one Denizen. Doink. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Guardian of the Gate list. Getting some Griffins in there. Basilica Guards. I got Extort. We got myself a Skyjack, a Syndic, a Smite, and a Thrall. Alright. Got a lot of creatures. Yeah, that's okay though. Seems like I'll need a Shadow Slice. <laughs> What can, what can shadow I, slice is fine. What can I cut to put in another shadow slice? Let's see. Is there? Anything? You could probably cut one of the 
one of the ruffians, maybe. I don't really like that guy that much. I can shadow slice onto the ruffian and force them to block. (laughs) (laughs) It's Uh, true. That's actually kind of funny. (laughs) All right. Wait. (laughs) (laughs) Block and discard or take five. Uh, the black denizens. All right, I real I really want to run two shadow slices. I'm gonna cut this denizen. <laughs> you just want to shadow slice and cipher onto the ruffian, don't you? I really do. Now, now that that's been stated out loud, I'm like, I figured it out. All right, dust mantle seer and primordial, absolutely being run without any regrets. All right, um. Let's see. I'm probably going to need... Uh, I could go... Yeah. I mean, I need to make sure that I have enough islands for my for my dude. Yeah, that, that mana base looks correct. Okay, is there anything else I would possibly want to put in here? This would be... I could put these in... And, if I'm having what circumstance would I put these in if a bunch of small slow dudes would kill him this doesn't really make okay. any sense well okay so I have the daring skyjick and I know I'm running the shadow slices for for recreational value but um with like the cartel aristocrat and the daring skyjick I feel like maybe this is going to be a lot better. Yeah, I don't I don't know if running two Shadow Slice in just a standard deck with a bunch of evasion mm-hmm. dudes is that great. Like, normally if you want all the Shadow Slices, you want, like, <clears throat> Dusk Mantle Rogues and, like, Keymaster Rogues or whatever the 3-2 unblockable guy is and, like, yeah. a bunch of Flyers and, like, uh, Basilica creatures. Well, I don't, I don't really have like that, that many good targets for this, anyways. Yeah, you only just... really have like the what five flyers <clears throat> and anything you can give fear with a shadow alley denizen. <clears throat> and I mean, the sepulchre primordial, I guess, is a good target for shadow slice too. But I mean, if you're playing him and hitting with him, you're probably <laughs> winning anyways. And would this righteous charge have any? Roll here. Mm, I don't really like it here. Just because you're already yeah, kind of top heavy. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> could put in the Shadow Alley Denizens. Alright, I have a deck. Go! Alright. Moving hands. Alright, I'm, I'm in good shape. This looks pretty good. Like, you could <laughs> pretty easily 3 0. We have a nice amount of removal. <laughs> Which is always nice. And flexible removal too. And I have a shadow slice. Oh god. And you have a shadow slice. Don't forget your your primordial. Oh, that's right, my that, primordial. That guy. He, he's essentially removal. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll. we'll Dude, go right I, it, um, that is the strength of the primordial. God, I love that primordial art. I want to buy that. Oh gosh.